Hello again, it's got a ukulele.com reviews and this is one I told you last week would be a bit special. Um, you know I like sopranos, I like mahogany sopranos, I like luthier built instruments and this is a ukulele from a guy who builds in the UK that I've been wanting to buy for several years and never been able to. Um, that luthier is a guy called Ken Timms, also known as Timbuk on groups such as the Combot, Cosmos and Ukulele Underground and he is a retired engineer and toolmaker in the northeast who claims he builds as a hobby um ukuleles we'll have a look at the quality of this and tell me whether you think it's a hobby instrument um that are incredibly well respected and revered around and this is his basic um basic mahogany soprano ukulele modeled on a martin style o um in pretty much every way uh, he doesn't make any bones about that, that's what he builds, um, but he does it really sympathetically, as you are going to see. Um, all solid mahogany body, very thin, resonant mahogany body, built to Martin dimensions. We've got an arch back there, single piece top and back, two piece sides, arch back, but Ken's got an arch with one radius this way and another radius that way, because he took that measurement from Martin, and that's what he's recreated. It couldn't be better. It couldn't be more honest and more authentic. Uh, mahogany slotted bridge, ebony saddle, sound hole rosette, which is a resin inlay that he puts in there in black, white, black, and it's been turned yellow by the stain because how this is finished is Mrs. Timms, who's also named on the make maker's label inside, does the French polish shellac uh, finish, utterly traditional, smells wonderful. It's like an old piece of furniture. Um, it's just absolutely wonderful. It's not mirror finish. It's got some rubbing marks in it, but that's kind of what you want. You want it to feel like it's been made by somebody. And it, it just really feels wonderful. Right, up to the um, up to the neck, naturally. Um, he makes that out of a single piece. It's also a dovetail joint, which is what Martin do. Topped with rosewood fingerboard, which is so thin, as you can see it coming over the top. There's nothing to it. 12 nickel silver frets, dots at 5, 7 and 10, ebony nut, that's 36 mil wide, it's a flat profile, it's really comfortable, it's just one of the most comfortable sopranos I've played. Um, headstock, Martin shape, obviously, um, glossed as well, and tuners, you may be saying, well I've not seen tuners shaped like that, or I've only seen them on old vintage instruments, they are Grover copies. But what Ken does is he shapes them on his lathe to make them smaller, to make them that shape. It means the headstock's less crowded. They look amazing. He fits these with the Quila strings, which I've taken off and put Martins on for this review. That's just personal choice. Ken likes the Quilas. I have no gripe with that at all. I just don't use them. Um, and the price. Now, if you want one of these, he doesn't sell in shops. He doesn't sell through dealers. He doesn't build to order, I don't think. He builds during most months of the year and has a break at winter. And he builds, and when he finishes them, he puts them on eBay. And then they sell. And if you see one, you want it and you buy it. And that's what I did. And the links to his videos, his eBay channel, and everything will be in the written review linked below this. Um, because luthiers out there in the UK revere this guy. Players who love vintage Martins recognize just how good a builder this chap is he's onto something with mimicking that sound um and it's just an absolutely flawless build i can't fault it it's like i'm holding a piece of like I'm, it's like i'm holding a vintage instrument that's never been played it's just it feels old it's just light as a feather it's balanced as anything but it is the sound that gets me i've played a lot of instruments this is the punchiest soprano I've ever played. It's one of the punchiest ukuleles I've ever played. I don't know how he's doing it from such a small little little thing. Now, YouTube compression and normalization is going to take a lot of this away from you. You've just got to take my word for it. This thing will wake the dead. It is absolutely amazing what he's done. Did I mention the price? I didn't mention the price. £325. I'd pay twice that for a ukulele of this quality. I think that's an absolute steal. I I think everyone should just go and get one at that price. 325 quid for this level of 
finishing, build, attention to detail. It is meticulous and it's beautiful. And it sounds like a jangly, punchy soprano. Well, love it it's 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 just whoa I've really dreaded writing this review and I've dreaded doing the video. This ukulele is too good for me. But then it is 325 quid, so, you know, it's affordable. Um, there's something here. I, and I dreaded it because I didn't know how to score it. Well, I do know how to score it. I think it's, it's certainly the nicest sounding soprano I've ever played, ever. Have a look at the, the scores. This has just gone top. I've got a ukulele in well over 150 reviews. This is the nicest ukulele I've reviewed. I'm not saying there isn't a nicer one out there. You might own the nicer one. I just haven't played it. That's just how scoring works. But my hat is off to Ken Timms for this because it is absolutely, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. This is just, I've been on the hunt. I've been buying a lot of mahogany sopranos lately and I've been kind of wanting to get sort of an ultimate one without spending too much. I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional and I think I found it. I think I found the soprano, or possibly even the ukulele, to end ukulele acquisition syndrome. Tim's Mahogany Soprano, absolutely out of this world. I think most, uh, if not all, ukuleles from here on in on Got a Ukulele are going to be a bit of a letdown. For me, at least, you might not like Sopranos. I think that's just about as good a ukulele as, as there is, really. Um, I can't fault it. I can't fault it. It's not the blingiest thing in the world. It's not meant to be. It's not the most perfectly finished. It's not meant to be. It just sounds amazing. There's absolutely no faults with the construction, with any part of it whatsoever. This is my run into a burning building ukulele, I think. Ken Tim's Soprano, I should shut up. I could just keep talking for the next 20 minutes about how much I love this thing. Um, I'll be back next week. Let's just, let's just stop the video here and uh, you can think about reviews for next time. But um, 